Meet artist Deb Larson, a wife and mother who went back to school to get her degree in art and is now working on a series exploring the personal lives of friends and family. Yeah, now that you mention it, I want to come by and try to knock that off all the time. Too. <laughs> there is this interesting dynamic between us. And, but I want to note that, you know, these are things that you have in your life. Right. These, this yes. is, you've been interested in right. Actually, Chinese culture. Yes. Well, you got a white face, you know, I mean, it's kind of, <laughs> you know, and he's an older dog. He looks like an older dog. Yeah, I like you know, the way you did the colors. I, I like all your paintings. We are at Java Jewels Bistro and Coffee Shop in Nortonville, Minnesota. It's uh, my opening night for this show, this art exhibit, uh, which is the culmination of my work from this past year as a senior at U of M uh, Morris. My series is called uh, Couch Culture. I just realized that I grew up after dinner and doing the dishes. We sat at, with my family and we watched TV and we ate snacks, you know? And that was our time together because you're so busy during the day and we just hung out. And I just uh, realized that I think there's a very large percentage of Americans that do that. And I was intrigued, especially when I started working with my kids, uh, about how that, what that looks like, um, and how are people, you know, to see if I can catch how they're connected, and also their personalities. And I've worked, I've over the two semesters, I worked a lot with symbolism. I realized that my most of my friends are very attached to the outdoors, and they, um, they, are not inside very often. But it's a major player as well because often it uh, says something about where I choose to put them, says something about the subjects. What do you think of me putting the window behind you guys? I love it. It makes me want to move the chairs in front of a window. <laughs> but we don't seem to have the space to do that. Right. I love everything you did. Everything. I've always thought of myself um, as an artist, but I didn't always know what I wanted to do with it. And then, while I was raising children, I didn't really think a lot about art. I was at a point where I was trying to figure out what was next, and my husband said to me, why don't you go back to school for art? And I said, okay, I think I'll do that. So, it, boom, 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 you know, I ended up going to U of M Morris. When I first started painting after the first few years, and I took a break, I, uh, opportunities for drawing landscapes kept coming up, and I was like, no, 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 don't, don't box me in, you know, I need to draw people. But I ended up drawing, a lot, you know, painting a lot of landscapes and wildlife and um, flowers, and that was a great way for me to grow, you know, technically. So it wasn't until I went back to school that this past year that I really got to do what I was excited about doing and that was people. I think it's uh, freeing. Um, it's a way of communicating what you're thinking and feeling and um, when you're working towards something you know that you have the potential for there's something very fulfilling about that and then just sharing with people is really just the arts community and being a part of that is very gratifying I, to, I just feel like I belong in the arts community and uh, it just makes me want to be the best artist that I can be and share that with people. And 
there's just nothing like being in the studio and your the time goes by like you wouldn't believe and you get to change your mind at any moment because it's yours and you just keep evolving just keep growing I'm just, I'm looking forward to getting my work out and further into the community of the Southwest region and then maybe breaking into the, the cities, maybe, you know, getting work through my website. And really it's just about a journey and just, as long as I'm growing, I'm very lucky to have, be in the situation that I am with my husband. Uh, he's very supportive and a supportive community, arts community and friends and family. and. But the more people I think, the more people that I touch with my art, I think it'll be uh, really good for me. 